California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Heart is fire, but baby I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get it I'm burnt out and if truth be told I probably have been for quite some time but I felt certain that I couldn't be the only one feeling this way so I started doing some research and what I found was actually quite shocking and quite sad. Four in five Australians have faced burnout since 2020 and 52% of Aussies have needed to take time off from work for mental health reasons during the COVID pandemics. And this is not just an Australian problem. Around the world, we're seeing more and more people resign, saying that workplace burnout is just leading to loss of job satisfaction and them not being able to complete their jobs any longer. Looking into the nature of burnout, I actually found that it is a continuum and that there are stages that kind of escalate. Uh, first, you start off with the honeymoon stage where you may be undertaking a new work tasks or initiative, you have no signs of burnout, instead you're full of enthusiasm, commitment and joy. But this can quickly lead to an onset of stress as you gradually start noticing that some days are more stressful than others and you may lack time for personal needs. Chronic stress can then develop. If you experience high stress levels, which as a result of your problem solving and performance skills decreasing, and you start feeling that you may be out of control or powerless, and then comes stage four, which is burnout itself. When I started looking into the symptoms of burnout, it was pretty obvious that this is what I'm experiencing. They say that burnout can be associated with a pessimistic outlook, a sense of self-doubt and social isolation, chronic headaches and GI problems, escapist activities and behavioral changes. And while burnout can be addressed, if it isn't addressed, it will become habitual burnout where you may be experiencing a sense of chronic sadness, mental and physical fatigue and potentially depression. So now I know sort of what's happening with my life, I actually want to be able to take steps to address this problem. And I looked at reachout.com and looked up some strategies that they suggested when dealing with burnout. And they listed things like taking digital detox days, making sure that you're connected with people, reaching out and asking for help, and setting boundaries and working on your problem solving skills. And while I think all of these strategies are really great and potentially quite helpful for a number of people, I also just think that in my own life and for my own self, I probably need to start reevaluating my priorities and my goals. We definitely live in a society where success is defined in one particular dimension and that is to have a great job, be well educated, own your own home, be financially stable, you know, have uh, nice things. 
And while some of those things are definitely things that I would like, I also just need to reevaluate what is the cost physically and mentally in order to attain those things and are they worth that price? I used to be quite happy to just go with the status quo, but after living in this state of burnout for so many years and seeing the impact that it's had on both my physical and mental health, I know that I actually cannot do this for much longer and I really need to start making some radical decisions about the, the trajectory of my life to be able to be in a state where I can actually enjoy my days. And maybe that means that my circumstances are a little bit different, but I feel like we're only here for one life. And if that is a life where we are physically and mentally in turmoil all the time, how can we really call that living? And maybe it means readjusting our values and our beliefs about ourselves and what we're called to do. Um, but I guess that there is like a sense of liberation and freedom in that. And I'm definitely excited to look into that and see what that means for me. So while I'm in the process of changing my life and I guess my values and my beliefs about who I am and about my life, hopefully I can create this YouTube channel as a cozy little oasis and a break from all of the hustle and bustle and stress and demands of our everyday lives, a place where we can just come and enjoy some positive moments and some uplifting times together out in nature, cozy moments in the house where we can just spend that time together and enjoy those little luxuries and blessings in life. I thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. I know that it was a little bit more of a personal and vulnerable story, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me during this time. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any kind uplifting comments for our community, make sure that you leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe for weekly videos and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of